this lecture, we will be explaining the basics of the limit. We have a line y equals 2 thirds of x, and we want to find the limit as x goes to 3. The limit is the value of y as the value of x gets infinitely close to 3. One way to figure this out is to make a table with numbers close to the ones that we are looking for. We add in numbers on both sides of x equals 3. In a future lecture, we will explain why this is important. Next, we will fill in the corresponding y values. Notice when we are near 3, the y values are near 2, just like we would expect them to be. This is shown on our graph as well. We chose the number 3 for this problem. Really, any number can be used. That number is often denoted by the variable a, and the limit for a is read as the limit as x goes to a of f of x. It really is as easy as it seems. We will make it more complex, though, in future lectures. But for now, if you're having trouble, it's probably because you're overthinking it. Now, let's practice the limit on another problem. This time, we will use the function f of x equals x squared minus 1, and we will find the limit as x goes to 0. Again, we fill in the values around 0, and then observe the trend in the y values. It's easy to see that as x gets infinitely close to 0, that y gets infinitely close to negative 1. And now you know the basics of the limit.